All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic string and, pardon me, string and array methods by building a music player. Step 14. All right. So inside the map method, we're going to add a return statement with backticks where we will interpolate all the elements responsible to displaying the song details. Inside the backticks, we're going to create a list item element with an ID attribute of song hyphen, and then we'll have an embedded expression with song.id in there, right? And then we'll also have a class attribute of playlist songs. All right. So first we're going to make the return statement. So we'll say return, all right? And we're inside of this thing right here, all right? So we'll say return, uh, and then we'll do the back ticks like this, all right? So we've got a uh, template literal right here. So now we're going to make inside of this thing, we're going to make a list item. We're going to make some new HTML. We're going to say LI and then close LI, right? And so for this LI, we're going to make a uh, an ID and we're going to give it the attribute of song hyphen. And then we're going to say uh, the, we're going to do the dollar sign. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We're going to do dollar sign curly braces like this for the embedded expression. And we'll say song dot ID, all right? So this right here is going to be targeting uh, user. Okay, so the main thing we're going to do when we do this render songs is we're going to be putting user data at song dot songs inside of here. So basically down here, we'll be doing render, what is it called? Render songs, render songs. And we're going to put uh, user data dot, what was it? songs in there, right? Songs, right? So that's going to be the all songs right there. And since we're doing the map method, it's going to go through each one of these elements in order. And so we're going to say song.id because we're doing a uh, song. Remember, this is the, this is the uh, parameter, dot .id. So it's going to be like this dot .id, which will be nine. So it'll be song nine, right? And then we're also going to have the class equal playlist song, whoops, playlist hyphen song like that. And what this is all going to do when we do that little render thing is basically, let me uh, copy this stuff real quick. So just in case I can't get it back once I do this thing I'm about to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so what this is basically going to do is it's going to create these things for us. And it's going to say song and ID one, right? And it'll be can't stay down, uh, can't chasing the feeling and all those other ones, right? So let's come back over here. So this is basically all we got to do for now. I know it's a little bit confusing, but uh, if we trace it back, if we trace it back to here, to here, and to where we're going to be, it all makes perfect sense. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 15. And we'll see you next time.